Hey, so I've decided to do a follow-up video on my Alien and Predator merch because there was just some items that were too big to move from the living room to my own room and there was just some stuff I forgot. So uh, here's going to be a, a small collection of uh, the stuff I did just didn't get around to including in the video. So first off, I'm going to start with this. It's the Alien Saga poster book and it's it's pretty cool. It's got some really nice kind of posters and uh, pictures. I have one of these taken out already put up on my wall and uh, yeah it's it's pretty cool it cost me about 20 euro I think uh, I got it on the book depository and uh, it's pretty cool you got movie posters and you got production stills and you got more movie posters and stuff there so yeah uh, that was pretty awesome, so I, I picked that up. And next up, we have uh, the Alien script book. Uh, it's uh, uh, the original uh, draft of Alien Resurrection. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's got stuff that was in the director's cut. And it's got stuff that wasn't even put in the extended cut of the movie. Uh, the center has kind of photos, but uh, they're... They're not the best quality photos, but uh, yeah, it was pretty neat. I got this in a Trifties for uh, four euros, so not too bad. Uh, these ones, these are cool. These are the uh, ADI workshop books, uh, both by Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr. Uh, Alien Requiem, Alien vs Predator Requiem, and yeah, you got some cool uh, photos from the... Uh, workshop and just how they made some of the um, props and equipment and creature designs some of it while as I said some while AVP and AVP are one great movies there was some fantastic design and kind of creative creative input put into these and uh, yeah this this book's much less the same it just shows maquettes and concept designs and yeah just more the workshop and just the uh, Predator's Tail and weapons and Predator doesn't have a tail, Alien Tail, sorry and yeah, you, they're making the Queen and yeah, that's that's pretty cool and it just goes a rundown of um, the different members of the uh, artists on the crew and yeah, it was, it's a pretty cool book, it's a pretty interesting book uh, next up, next book up, I got this one. I actually done a quick overview of this in my AVP review, and this book is Alien vs Predator, panel to panel, and it essentially has uh, covers and standout pieces of art from the uh, different Alien Predator and Alien vs Predator comics. That one I think is from Alien Tree, and that's Arthur Sidem. And that one is Mark A. Nelson and Dan Beavis. They done uh, the Alien Book 2. Those covers were awesome. And just some of the art on this. Uh, Aliens Labyrinth. Uh, kidnapped. Just, yeah, I'll, show you. I'll just show you a bit more of the book. Yeah, some of these are pretty cool. And that one's pretty awesome because that's, that's not drawn. That's actually a sculpture. That they took a photo of and they turned it into a cover. So yeah. And uh, that's pretty cool. Pred Alien. I think that's from Duel, yeah. And just yeah, it's it's an awesome book. And it was I think it was eighteen fifty, so that wasn't too bad. I got it in Forbidden Planet. <laughs> Next up, um this is uh Alien vs Predator, uh, the movie card collection. Uh, I have some of these. Uh, I also have them in a couple of frames over my house. And um, these cards are pretty interesting because they're a, a role playing game. And I actually use them to decorate a picture, which I'll be showing you in two minutes. And yeah, um, they're pretty cool. They're, they're, they're a game that uh, you played either a marine or an alien or a predator. And it just gives you different stats and stuff. Um, I 
would like to get more of the cards because I'd like to get a full deck and be able to play the game but uh, they're rare to find and when you do find them they cost a bomb but uh, yeah they're pretty neat. Next up my Kenner figures. Ugh. These guys are unboxed. This is uh, Alien Queen and uh, yeah she she's pretty awesome. I got her for my 11th birthday and uh, oh the tongue's supposed to come out but uh doesn't seem to want to. No. One more try. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's the alien queen, Kenner alien queen, and uh, she has a tail attack and like she doesn't look movie authentic, but she still does look cool because like the level of detail on that is uh, pretty awesome. I got kind of accessories in a comic with her, but I lost, I lost them, but uh. I still have her. My brother got me her and this lady for uh, my 11th birthday. Um, I actually put this one on the top of my Christmas tree. It's my uh, Christmas angel. And uh, yeah, the Kenner figures were pretty awesome. And uh, I have two more boxed in my room, but you saw them in another video. So yeah, they're they're probably one of my oldest alien uh, alien collector figures. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Moving on, a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, Chris Flynn, he uh, he actually was moving into a new place and he gave me uh, his McLaren uh, Alien vs Predator dioramas and yeah there's they're pretty cool sets, there's Chopper uh, being killed by uh, Grid before he's uh, turned into Grid and look at the detail on that, it's, it's pretty cool. Just everything even the skulls on the guy's shoulder is pretty cool uh, that's grid fighting Celtic and yeah just the armor's pretty cool and stuff again the level of detail on this is uh, it's pretty amazing so that's pretty awesome um, this is uh, a scene that wasn't featured in the movie but uh, still looks pretty awesome. It's a uh, scar, and he's facing up against the alien queen. And you have part of the pyramid and a, a cocooned human in the background, which is pretty cool. And the detail on the queen, it's some of it is a bit hunky. Some of it I'm not too gone on. Like these blades in her back, I think are a bit much, and like her face is a bit flat. It's a bit too sloped. But uh, it's still it's still a pretty cool set. And then lastly, I have this one. This is the uh, the birth of the hybrid, Pred Alien hybrid, and it's uh, it's uh, pretty cool. You've the the elder there, and you've Scar's body, and there's the Pred Alien chest bursters breaking out of him there. And yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. As I said, Chris gave me these figures, and. Uh, they were pretty awesome because he knew I was a collector and uh, I don't think he just had any room for them so yeah um, really nice guy and uh, I do appreciate him giving me these figures now next up I'm gonna pull back a bit so you can see this a better sunlight isn't doing it any favors but uh, yeah essentially this is my um, alien poster I had this with ages it got torn and kind of shredded at the bottom there was a big tear going across so I actually I actually used cards more of the game collectors cards I used them to fill up the space and I framed the whole thing and I think it looks pretty cool I, I think it works and yeah it's the iconic egg kind of shown off there and uh, yeah I, it's 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 an old poster but it's a badass poster and I just didn't have the heart to throw it out so I kind of just use the cards to fix it up now next this was a house gift when I moved into the apartment it's a uh, it's a quirky picture of a kind of uh, alien and predator playing a game of chess and um, yeah uh, two good friends of mine Anthony and Charlene uh, knew I'm a big Alien vs Predator fan, so they got me that, and it kind of just sits at the back of my kind of kitchen, and 
it 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 looks pretty awesome. It's 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 pretty funny as well. It's like you know a conversation piece. People are like, "What the hell is that?" And I just like tell them it's uh you know Alien and Predator, Alien versus Predator in a game of chess, which is uh it's pretty awesome and uh, I'm pretty proud to have it in the back of my kitchen. It's it's pretty quirky. So moving on. This is my uh, Predator's poster. It's pretty worn and, and beaten up, but uh, it's still an awesome poster. I got it from the uh, Enna Cinema. They uh, basically, when they stop showing a film, they, they throw out the posters. So I asked them could I get it, and it's it's a pretty cool poster. You got Adrian Brody in the forefront and, and one of the Predators in the background, and it's, it's a nice big size as well, and I kind of complemented it with uh, my boxed, uh, boxed Predator figure, so. It looks kind of sweet there, and over here I have these. They're uh, basically uh, film stills, and uh, essentially they're from Alien and Aliens. And I got them in a comic book shop ages ago, and I just didn't know what to do with them, so I just got two frames and uh, framed them. And I think they look they look uh, pretty well. They look pretty cool on that. Now. I'm going to show you my last lot of frame stuff and it's probably going to be a bit puzzling to you but I will show you anyway. Give me one second. Now this is my bathroom and I kind of didn't like how glum it was so I got some of my favourite Alien Predator comics and I essentially framed them. So yeah, I kind of I framed other stuff as well just because uh, yeah, my bathroom, my bathroom is kind of, kind of dull, so I, I done something to spruce it up, and, you know, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, that's uh, an awesome comic, it's uh, by Brian Wood and Tristan Jones, and I just love the cover on that, and I love the cover on the Predator Life and Death, and those two guys at the top were the first Alien vs Predator comics I purchased, and that guy, I just really like the cover, the design of the Predator is awesome, so, yeah. That's uh, that's essentially um, the last of my Alien and Predator merch. I just, as I said, I just forgot to show you guys some of it. Some of it was just too big to show you, so I said I'd, uh, I said I'd uh, just give you a, a run around of the stuff I missed. So uh, this has been the Trash Picture Show, and uh, I hope you weren't bored. So take care and uh, have a good one. Bye.